<laughs> it just keeps going. <laughs> hey, you're the one who edited this clip, man. <laughs> I didn't change that part, though. Hey, uh, Ned. It's all on deep, baby. Speaking of, yeah, you said deep. What is this clip? This, my friends, is Deep Purple, the song 69 off of their album from 1998, Abandon. <laughs> now, Ned, why did you pick to play this song? Why did you pick to edit this song for the radio? Well, my friends, I picked to edit it because it was too long. <laughs> but no, I picked it because tonight is our 69th episode of the radio show. Oh! Whoa! And as we nice. all know, 69 is a very exciting number. It's a very nice number. Uh, it's associated with a lot of good art, you know? Like, I see it referenced. I see it in... in uh, <laughs> Should I just in, keep this going? Should I fade it out? You can fade it a little bit. This keyboard solo rips, though. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll, I'll keep it a little low in the back. All right. Go on. What about uh, you know, it's, it's 69 is a, it's a very exciting number. I always... People just seem to love the number so much. I don't know why. Uh, like, 69 Love Songs is a very popular indie, like a milestone uh, indie album. That's pretty exciting. Every time people see the number, they're like, nice. Uh -huh. That's cool. We need more of that. Yeah. So, 69. Yeah. Okay, great. It yeah. feels good. I mean, wait, wait, what does 69 mean to you? 69? It means that's how many episodes we've done of FM Ranger. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, everybody. I'm your host, Connor Clifton, joined as always by my lovely co-host, Ned Gale. Ned, how the heck are you, and how is your freaking weekend? I am doing fantastic today. I'm very sweaty, and this weekend was no different. I was very sweaty then as well. Oh, yeah? What'd you do? Uh, freaking weekend was great. Friday night, I had myself a relaxing day you were not at the house that's so I, true i took full advantage of that i took a bath uh, in our <laughs> bathroom that didn't have floors at the time <laughs> ah uh, which was nice i don't know took a took a long bath and just kind of laxed out did a little arts and crafts that's out. right hey for all you uh home and gardening freaks listening in yeah, uh freaks. ned and i we just got our bathroom floors redone <laughs> they're not completely done but they're looking nice yeah out with the crappy tile in with the fake hardwood floors <laughs> no uh it, it's very nice our yeah. bathroom definitely got an upgrade Everything looking fantastic. It's pretty cool. I'm I'm very excited to drip on it. <laughs> what? <laughs> when getting out of my little tub from doing a rub dub dub? Are you joking me? <laughs> uh, gross. So, okay. Um, <laughs> so that was Friday night. Saturday, uh, I did a brand new show that's happening in Houston, Texas, called Hot for Teacher. Ooh, it's a yeah, spinoff of yeah, Nick yeah. Merriweather's old show. Hot, Friend of the show. Yeah, Hot Takes. Uh, and Hot for Teacher is a show where people come up and give presentations. Uh, teach the uh, audience about a little something something okay uh and i taught business for the day so i taught people how to start a successful toy company uh any any uh pointers that you can give to listeners no, at nothing home? nothing's free guys uh so just wait till those videos come out on facebook and i'll tell you the rest because uh, <laughs> i don't feel like doing that bit right now <laughs> oh okay uh all right and sunday did you do anything and then sunday uh the big old lebowski fest uh big lebowski bash Happened at Market Square Park and Swimmer <gasps> Department. Broke our month-long uh, hiatus of playing to play, and we did. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, it was really fun. And I also I haven't seen Big Lebowski in so long. Uh, it was a real treat to watch it. Well, it's you a know funny what? movie, guys. <laughs> Speaking of the Big Lebowski, our guest today, at least one of them, is a huge fan of the Big Lebowski, and our other guest, I've probably seen it everywhere. <laughs> I'm a normal fan. Please shut up. Shut up until Not I Not till we introduce name. you, okay? Seriously, oh my God. there's so you, few rules. You have been on the show so many times. What do we, how, no long how long have we been doing this? How long have we been doing? 69 episodes? Are you joking? You were on the pilot. You were on the you very had a solo first episode. episode of this. You were on the 420 spectacular, and now you're here for the 69th episode. No, that was your cousin, that one. <laughs> Don't you ever dare bring Dag Photo Show into this. Dag Photo is Show a stays out the show. <laughs> okay. Anyway, please welcome our guests, Billy Trim and John Wayne coming yeah! out. Hey! What's hey! up, guys? Hey! How are you guys doing? Thank you for having Good. us. Yeah, of course. Uh, I, who, who better to have on the program for our 69th episode than our old Micro Satan buddies and compatriots and our very nice friends, <laughs> you two? Yeah, that, that, that was, thank, thank you? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know. We are pretty nice, I guess. I think so, I think so. Listen, we brought you under the 69th episode because Ned thought that you would be a uh, great guest for this. Ned, what was your reasoning for having them on the show as our guest today? Uh, I just think these are really nice boys. They're probably the nicest boys we know. Um, I don't know. I feel like for... for uh, celebration this large we need some of our biggest friends who know how to party and yeah. 
Well, frankly, these boys know how to party. They know That's how to true. rock and roll. You know, we had Deep Purple playing earlier. I'm sure these guys were bobbing their heads. I didn't see. I don't look at my guests until I introduce them. But <laughs> I, uh, I did a couple I... airbase solos for sure. Okay, six. I saw that. Yeah, I thought I thought you were. You guys were rocking out. You guys were having a good time. So you definitely wanted to talk to them about that Deep Purple song. Uh, it's called 69. Yeah. And it's yeah. off the album Abandon. And on our ride home, you had quite a bit to say. About a, lot, a lot of it loud. <laughs> Uh, loud, I had loudly had to say it. Uh, do you guys know about this album, Abandoned by Deep Purple? Are y'all Deep Purple fans? I I have early Deep Purple records. Okay. Um, I'm not aware of this 1998 record. Does it <laughs> does it feature uh, Richie Blackmore or whatever or who? It does not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so is this the Joe Satriani or? Uh... Man, I w- it's a guy named Steve Morse. Oh, hang on. We're already getting a oh, phone call. Oh, no, I think Steve, it's Steve Morse. Morse right now. Oh, hey. hey there. You're on FM Radio. Are you Steve Morse? No, I'm not. What I want to know is if my boy John Wayne has any sweaty, satanic 69 tips and if he could give some out real quick. Great. That sounds like You're the asking... voice of a someone who forgot to call in with a voicemail. That was, was that Anise Parker? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the mayor calling again? Was she in the now? Now hold on. Do you mean do you mayor? need sixty nine different tips for just living? What, what are you asking about? Oh, you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the dirty here. Turn that this off. No, okay. Turn that off. Turn that off. Okay. But before we get any further, I want to just real quick talk about. So we did some Googling about 69 to find uh, more exciting boy. songs, to find more exciting things about this this nice number. Look, and, we're and both a, into numerology. Yeah. We're number fanatic. We we're love big it. numbhead. If there's anything, I'm number's number one fan. Okay? But I looked up 69 on Wikipedia, and people use this number for dirty no-no stuff. For sex. Yeah, for they sex. They use it for, for sex. sex. I'll say it. Yeah, I'll yeah. say it. One of the things that we are not allowed to talk about on our program Sex. sex. Yeah. And also, another thing Ooh. I just don't want to talk Burns. about, okay? Even if we could, no. No, I'm not talking. Gross. Bleh. Yeah. Okay? Let, let's say, let's say, Ned, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you this. Let's say you Please. wake up tomorrow, KPFT called you and says, hey, we need you back in the studio ASAP how'd to you do get another my episode. No, how the hell did you get my number? You submitted it when you emailed asking for a show. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> okay. Now, we need you to come back in. By the way, FCC, dead. <laughs> Everyone is dead. All Olympus has fallen. Dead. <laughs> so you know the thing about sixty nine I find so disappointing is that not only are they dragging the proud number of sixty nine through the mud, right? But they're propping up a false sixty nine. So it kind of sucks from both sides, honestly. What What do you mean by uh, <laughs> What do you mean by false? A false sixty nine? Yeah. What do you mean by that? Uh, it's. Are these like imaginary so like numbers? Propping I heard a, about that. Propping up a fake god. No, if you will. it's just you know, it's like a surgical ninety-six. They kind of fudged the numbers there a little bit. I do want to get into ninety-six a little later into the yeah, show because but, it's also a God. significant number. My question for you, Ned, was: If the FCC is gone, what are you going to talk about first thing on the radio? I'm just going to say the freaking F word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no sex talk. But John no, Wayne. no sex talk. Yeah. What were you going to say? I don't know if it was the time to segue into to sixty nine stuff. Go for it. Uh, but I just uh, <laughs> I wanted to say that I uh, since since you first brought this up to me um, that time that I absolutely one hundred percent remember. Yeah, on, um, it was on June. Told, <laughs> we and, told you on June ninth, and uh, I I <laughs> did uh, I did one hundred percent a lot of research up till now. Um, including when I got the text last night uh, <laughs> confirming that I would be on the show, which I was kind it's of worried true. about. It's true. John and, Wayne uh, did confirm. He did assert to me that he knew that it was happening because he said, oh, yeah, that's tomorrow when I messaged good. him last night. Yeah. 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 Now, usually when we message our performers, they say things like, I knew I had something today. Yeah. Or, or, huh? <laughs> or are you is? sure? <laughs> yeah. Or is this KPFT? How would you get my number? But... John Wayne, kudos to you for confirming that it was, in fact, today. <laughs> You're welcome. And that that was part of the research I did hey, for I this got, episode. Wait, I got I some did, hot uh, news um, coming in from the comments. Guys, yeah, um, according to James Medford, the square root of 69 is eight something. Okay, now moving on back to where we're at. Well, oh, oh yeah. geez, did you yeah. have to go to Rice to figure that out, James? <laughs> All right, John Wayne, keep going. Well, I've, uh, I've, uh, you know, hey. I, I compiled a list. I did a lot oh, of, re- awesome. I did a lot of research. Yeah, so yeah. So I put together some, some interesting tidbits. Uh, Sixty nine. Okay, well, tell us uh, six, six to nine of those tidbits. 
Okay. <laughs> uh, in the movie, um, Back to the Future, uh -huh. uh -huh. Dr. Emmett Brown, played, played by Christopher, by Christopher Lloyd. Lloyd, the yeah. great. Thank you. Please, we're friends here. Just call him Doc. Yeah. I call him Brown Town. <laughs> Doc uh, says the phrase, Great Scott, 69 times. No wow. way. In Are a row? Serious? Did they cut that out of the movie? No, this isn't Clerks. Does he just go bonkers? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's that's wild, right? I got another I got another one. Yeah, please. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In in the um 69 times. In the movie uh film Dazed and Confused. Sure. Yeah, Richard Linkletter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He should have right. linked now. Um <laughs> the character uh <laughs> can't read the name but the kid with the long hair uh-huh yeah main character every time he puts his hair behind his his ear he does it 69 times in that movie really and you wow. know what's spooky i actually times. know this that kid's name the character's name was 6969 no way <laughs> wait are you guys fooling me is this some sort of sham 69 what is this no <laughs> in the groundbreaking movie a league of their own is this all movie <laughs> trivia <laughs> uh, it's it comprises most of the list for the listener. Um, has, for the listeners, you want me to skip ahead? You want me to skip no, yeah, ahead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. Keep going. What else? What else you got? Well, I don't know. Now I feel like I should skip ahead. Uh, it, no, it, a League of Our Own. That's a great movie. John like Lovitz, the movie A League of Their Own. Yeah. John Lovitz or was asked to leave the set sixty-nine Please. times <laughs> during <laughs> filming because of. Improper behavior. Wow. Allegedly. Whoa, 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 what kind of wow. improper behavior? Because I don't want to celebrate this fact if he's like being gross. It's John anything. friggin' love it. He's one he, of the few POSs so, from it, SNL. Some I mean he was some of the people who were just accusing him of writing bits that weren't funny, maybe. Things uh, like that. Okay. You know? <laughs> Eat, eating too Everyone's much, a critic. Eating more of his share than at craft services. <laughs> he, yeah. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> I'm not running bits. I'm running my lines. Blame it on the script. It stinks. Yeah. I can't not talk like this. <laughs> I got. A, I got another. Uh, I got another good one for you guys. What do you got? You, you might need. Um. You need to break out like your calculators for this one. It's a numbers no, one. No, we have. Hey, wait, wait, yeah, chat. we got James with his rice degree. I, okay. Okay. Did James just they said, print those on rice paper. Mitch Kramer. Does that do, do anything for anyone? Mitch Kramer. Yeah. You got to give us more, James. I'm real dumb. Is that like a, is that a guitarist? <laughs> Oh, is Mitch Kramer the guitarist of Sham 69? Yeah, I'm going to do a Google search. All right, but what were, what were you going to say? What were you going to say, John Wayne? Well, I mean, we uh, it's it's a numbers thing, so you, if you're listening oh, at oh, home. Oh, it's the name of the kid. His name it's is name Mitch Kramer. The long-haired guy. Thank yeah, you, James. Yeah, and it's James. German I for 69. <laughs> I, that's what I couldn't read because I... It looked like a swear, and I know I'm not supposed to say swear. So it, I thank you. Because the you. way I'd written it. I just can't. Yeah, you didn't want to okay. say Raymer on air. <laughs> okay, so write, maybe write this down. So take take your age. Age. Multiply it by two. H times two. Okay. Subtract three. Okay. Divide by twelve. That Wait, did you say H or eight? <laughs> Silly eight. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. 16, pull it back. Now to the three. H power. Take that to the H power. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. And then I, hang on, hang on. Uh, what movie is Hang this? on, hang on. I'm at eight times two, sixteen minus three is thirteen. Okay, okay and, and then. Add 11. Okay. Divide 24. it by 2. Okay. Add 3 again. Okay. And you have 69. Wait, don't forget. No, what? No, no, no don't. Okay, so yeah. here's the no, problem. No, no, no. John, you didn't do it right. Here's the problem. Think, I don't think John Wayne right. went to cool school, which is not Common Core, and it's a completely different <laughs> school of mathematics. <laughs> yeah. I don't think no, I did I Common Core. I got 15. <laughs> well... Listeners at home, if you are You're following to along with that math to equation, tape, can you go ahead and call in and just say the number that you got? 713 I don't think we're taking calls. We're not taking calls. In no, I John mean, Wade, I literally 69 told you right before we went on air, 69. we only want calls. I don't want you guys to talk. <laughs> so can we <laughs> talk about what 69 no means you to actually me? did take. Yeah. You actually did say that. Yes, <laughs> Billy, what did 69 mean to you? Yeah, so please. there was a time in my life where I was really into mirrors because I wondered whether that was the me in my meat body on the mirror reflected or if it created a copy now oh, you can okay. see where 69 could become very interesting you know in front of a mirror because you put it up you're like 69 wait flip around what 69 it's never not 69 it's kind of endless yeah it's, it's endless it's it is a number of perseverance and solidarity you cannot be 
unlinked. Look at what happened. Look at the number 69, right? 69 for our uh, Can you video turn that more viewers. Towards the camera? I'm trying. Can't see if and if anyone looks at it, Billy's going to go punch you. I will yeah. punch you. Um, it cannot be knocked over. If you push the number 69, it just rolls and rolls. It does not stop. It well, it's if, it falls, if it falls sideways, that's mm -hmm. the uh, the glyph yeah. uh, for, for cancer. Ah, uh, uh, yes. The, the astrological sign. Yes, yeah. Which you have written in these notes, not a 69, but an abstract crab. Yeah, I'm going to call BS mm. on that. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that quote online. I was like, nah, it's... That's yeah, 69. I don't really see just, a just like crab. It's nice, you know. It's nice. Yeah. What do crabs have else, to do with 69? Someone also suggested it was the loving arms of a mother, <laughs> but come on. I mean, it can't be. It's it's a way to get crab. Whoa, <laughs> Connor, Connor, what? <laughs> Haven't you seen a tackle and lore? Wait, thing? wait. Are we allowed to talk about crabs, but we can't? No, 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 no. What the H? Have Times you never seen? Are you talking about? Have you never seen a buoy or gone fishing? They're all like you know circular bottoms and then stringy tops. There are lots of sixes and nines, uh, with fishing. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Um, did you guys know another thing uh, about the number 69 is uh, in the Bible it's referenced that uh, several times that there will be 69 the 69th angel look me check me check me on this check my math yeah, please please check the them on 69th this, yeah. angel is the one that comes down and really like gets you that's like your bro like <laughs> It's like, hey man, yeah. hey, it's, it's all gonna work out. Let's Wait. go to heaven together. Yeah. And, but and, and and also a little known fact, little known pl little asterisk to this, okay? Yeah, please. The song Seven Spanish Angels originally was sixty nine Spanish angels. <laughs> sixty nine Spanish angels. And God the altar of the sun. You will drive that's hard. It, and, yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's. I mean, I, guys, I went deep dive on these these things. Yeah, I, these are really I good really guys, did a lot you, of work. If you guys have 69 facts, not so. 69 individual ones, but facts about 69, please call in at 713-526-8737 or just call and say nice. Guys, I think I figured something out that's going to crack this thing wide open. Look, the math equation that you gave me earlier, John Wayne, where I should have gotten 69, yeah. but I didn't. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I got 15. When you add 6 and 9, 15. There we go. There we go. And you've just, uh, thank you for spoiling my closer. <laughs> Damn it. I've <laughs> also heard that hey, nerds what... don't get 69 which What is, does that mean? It means oh, they, really, they cannot derive the number 69 from any equation. It's impossible. They're good at every mathematical equation, um, but there's a tremor in their hands. Well, it's they... almost as if God himself <laughs> is saying, you cannot write this number. They also just can't get failing grades, which, guys, 69, failing grade, that's an F, baby. All right. In certain curriculums. Now, F in A+. Plus. I have one thing I'd like to bring up here. In my research, I discovered that there is such a thing as the 6-9 chord. It's a jazz chord. Now, the three of y'all all play guitar. Can you tell me what that would sound like? Boring. Wow. Boring. Boring. <laughs> Wow, you are all oh. maybe wrong. I mean, to I be have fair, a okay. Well, you're you know, actually, you didn't give us uh, a root. You're a radio note. journalist, so can you give us uh, maybe just some? Journalism can you use it in a quick? sentence? For me? I will not only give you journalism; I will give you forty seconds of it. Uh, yeah, oh, something that's a I lot. cut. The fabulous six nine chord. A lot of people don't know what that is, and if you don't, you're in for a treat. This is the sound we're gonna get. Ooh. Bang. That gives an open sound. That's called voicing in force. Mm. Welcome to FM Rager. This is my FM bath mat. I stand on it when I'm dripping wet. Yes, you'll notice I'm in a bath robe. <laughs> this. I kind of forgot how that went, but you get the idea. <laughs> All right. Sometimes Anyways. you just get so wrapped up in the '69, you can't even remember where you are. You're lost. You're spinning. You're like you said, a, an endless cartwheel. <laughs> yeah, it is your brain's fireworks. Now, one of the things that comes up whenever '69 is mentioned is the word "nice," and nice. I'd like to transition just off the cuff here. What are some things that you think about when you think of "nice"? Oh, okay. Um, I think of like nice dog. My friends, they're all okay. nice. Right. I feel like I have a nice group of friends. Yeah, Warren Sherbert. Ooh, okay. I feel like when you go, when you're That's at nice. the grocery store and nice. you're going to check out and someone comes up and you're kind of the same time, you're like, eh, what do we do? And they, you know, 
let you go in line ahead of them. That's very nice. Yeah, that is nice. nice. Hey, we're getting a call. Nice. Nice. Hi, you're on FM Rager. Yeah, hi, Anise Parker. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, Mayor Parker. How's it going? Mayor Parker. Thank you. Wow. Hey, listen, uh, you were asking for, for 69 facts? Yeah, yeah, what you got? 69 facts, yes. Well, well 69 is, is, is particularly important in, uh, in the city of Houston because it's a well-known fact that in Houston, people eat out an average of four times a week. Okay. And so what does that <laughs> have to do with <laughs> Go on. I'm listening. Careful, Mayor Parker. I'm hungry. You know I went to Rice, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. right. That's enough. She just calls to gloat every week. I don't get it. Hey. <laughs> You know what? We've driven on 69 before. Talking about Houston 69, oh, yeah. 59, that terrifying death trap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, why is it called 69 now? I, I don't know. Because it's well, cool and nice, and we are a nice it city. It might have been interstate one of the policies 69. of Mayor Parker. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I think it turns into Interstate 69 when you leave the loop, but it's it's uh, oh. Highway 59. Because interstate and highways, is, isn't it a vertical, horizontal? I'm probably getting this Stop very it. jumbled up. This sounds, no, it uh, sounds hard. High, interstates are even numbers are east and west. Odd numbers are north and south. Oh, okay. Yes. That's well, why 45 north, 45 59 south. is 69 at some point. And you can quote me on that. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Heck um, yeah. Hey, actually, that's a good question. If, if you know why Highway 59 becomes I-69. Yeah, if you're so smart. <laughs> keep the information to yourself. Here's another fun <laughs> yeah, fact. Don't, don't uh, call, call in. Yeah, sit on your hands, show. freak. <laughs> what were you going to say, Billy? Well, there's just another fun fact that Sammy Hagar cannot drive 69. He's been banned <laughs> I mean, for <laughs> traffic today. <laughs> nice. Now, so now, you know about how he peed on the Alamo. Well, uh, wait. <laughs> now, now hey, this, this controversy <laughs> has come up in a lot of circles, Billy. And I'd like to get your your take on yeah. this because, mm. you know, we all know where it started. It started with 55. Then eventually uh, the next thing was 57. And that kind of like was like they expected. Kept raising the speed but limit. then but then they jumped immediately to 69. All of a sudden now he can't drive 69. And there's a lot of speculation. Uh, maybe uh, David Lee Roth has something to do with this. Possibly. Uh, what have you heard? What do you think about this? I heard what I was told is that Sammy Hagar growing up, his only dream was to spit in the face of God. <laughs> and so he thought speed was a construct meant to limit him and his potential. And so he's looking for ever higher numbers he, to really- not to drive faster than <laughs> you know all this talk about cars and how fast you can drive and spitting in the face of god <laughs> yeah. yeah honestly you know sammy hagar he could only drive 55 well i've got two little buddies that also have a lot of issues when it comes to driving <laughs> oh. look f and rager film correspondent travis reyes yes. good friend of ours not yet a friend of a show but he should be gosh willing he uh he sent in a little <laughs> review of the latest box office smash, Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> nice. Here it is, right now. Nice. Nice. Hobbs and Shaw, rated PG-13 in theaters now, was written by a sentient Xbox, a can of Red Bull with a screenwriting degree from UC Berkeley, a 12-year-old on a skateboard, and a talking machine gun. It stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Jason Statham as two very different... Men, one a white bald muscle monster, the other a Hawaiian bald muscle monster, <laughs> who have to stop an evil genius or scientist or something from ending the world with a virus. But really, who the f- cares? Because The Rock pulls a helicopter out of the sky with his bare hands. <laughs> along the way, they share some laughs, <laughs> along with hardcore murdering about a hundred nameless, faceless men whose children are left childless, wives left husbandless, in financial ruin. But really, again, who gives a shit because the rock pulls a helicopter out of the sky? I highly recommend it. Five stars. Also, do you remember that time when the rock was like, hey, I'm going to be president. But then he was like, call me Dwayne. And we're like, no, your name is the rock. Like, if you can't convince us to call you Dwayne, you would make a bad president, I think. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Travis Reyes. So this brings up a very interesting point wait, 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 that ties back into Before the- you start. Nice. Nice. Um, Which is also the idea of the number of 69 uh, showing between us humans what we share and what we don't share. 
so the six and the nine are opposites, both vertically and horizontally, much like Dwayne the Rock Johnson and, and Jason Statham. Are. Yeah, just hob and that's, draw. That's great. Uh, that's very um, timely, and I'm glad you brought that up because I have a tie-in to to that, Nathan. Thank thank you for for that. It was very well well done. Um, in in the in the movie Hobbs and Shaw, uh, the recent film release. Um, I'm sorry, the, did the, you the just look this fact up? No, I have no, I have it on my paper. I have it on my paper. I, he, he has yeah. he has the tiniest handwriting in the world. He, he, he just uh, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Thank, it's cute. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Nice. Um, on on uh, in the movie Hobbs and Shaw. Uh, when uh, the Rock Dwayne the Rock Johnson pulls the helicopter out of the sky with his bare hands, mm-hmm. um, how tall is he, by the way? Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Nine. <laughs> okay. Jonathan, look that up. What? Look that up right uh, now while yeah. John Wayne finishes this fact. <laughs> Guys, you just threw me off of my fact. That while the Dwayne the Rock Johnson uh, pulls the helicopter out of the sky with his hands, uh, he. Fathered sixty nine children. Oh wow, good for him. <laughs> wow, Ned, how Allegedly. tall is he? Dwayne, The Rock Johnson comes in at a whopping six foot five. Ah, uh, not nice. I can see not right nice. there the Undertaker so close. The to Undertaker six is six. Can you look ten. up which guy is six? Can we? Yes. Not only the loop, I know where you're going. My birthday. No. Um. Well, where am I going? Wait, yeah, where people who are actually six, six foot nine. nine. I have a list. Of, now I, got I have know. a list of six oh, wait, foot wait. nine people. John Wayne. John Wayne. <laughs> have it. All right, go ahead. Who, who's six foot nine? Lawrence Bird. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yes, Boston, Boston Celtics player. Uh, Lawrence Bird. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, All right. Don't worry, guys. I found a, a list called tall celebrities. <laughs> Tall celebrities. Okay. Well, I've got. The, I mean, I've already got my list. Yeah. Don't, so they could be taller Steve, than that. Vince Vaughn. That little pipsqueak. All right. Whoa. Keep going. You got beef with Vaughn? Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Tyler Maine. You don't want to bring it up. <laughs> Six foot nine. Not on the program. Nice. <laughs> I don't even have to ask who he That's is. That's an off-air conversation. All gotcha. right, John Wayne. Continue with your list, please. Oh well, I mean, you're kind of you naming a, a lot of them. Like uh, Lil Wayne is on here. I also have. Uh, <laughs> I also have uh, Man, my, my, really my neighbor, <laughs> my old neighbor, uh, Benjamin, uh, not from when I lived in spring, but when I lived in Pennsylvania, Hollywood? in Monroeville, oh. when I was five years old, he was 6'9". And he's um, a celebrity? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's he been in? He has been in, uh, he ate the most pierogies at the uh, Polish festival, and he was nice. very famous in our neighborhood for a long time, and I Did strove to be like him Yo! for a while. Yo! Houston hero, Magic Johnson Six foot nine. Okay. Magic Johnson? I, I, had, I had that on here. So really? Magic, was he, a, was he a rocket? I don't think Why, so. Oh, wait. No, I'm thinking of someone else. Wow. <laughs> if you would like to call. Oh, wait, wait. If you would like Magic to have, Johnson play on. If you want to have me punch Magic Johnson, Ned in the, the head Lakers. for nice. thinking that Magic Johnson played on the Rockets, please call in. <laughs> and I will I d- gladly, <laughs> gladly do it. Also, please call in with celebrities you wish Hakeem, were six foot nine Olajuwon? inches tall. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, uh, the... Yeah, he played for the LA Lakers. Nice. Yeah, he's a Laker yeah, I was guy. Yeah, Hakeem, <laughs> Bobby. Yeah. Well, he's still a hero in Houston, I'd say. We all Magic like Johnson. Him. Everyone, yeah, yeah he's I magical. Think people really like Magic Johnson. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. He, all right, what do you got, John Wayne? Have you been talking to whole <laughs> No, no, <laughs> I haven't. I, I, I was, I just was think talking in my head the the list. No, who's that? So I went, I blew through a lot of it. You know, um, I have, uh, you know. Who is this? Pat Morita, the late Pat Morita. Is here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mr. Miyagi. The, the way they shot him, it was like yeah. a, a weird thing. But I met him in Vegas one time um, with Patrick Ewing. Patrick Ewing is also six foot nine. Um, and my uncle, who it just, uh, well, we can't talk about what that is, but he is six foot nine. You know, I know of another celebrity who's six foot nine, Rhea Perlman. That's why, Danny, really? yeah, that's why she and Danny DeVito split up. So, no way. Wow. Yeah. so good. They are the primordial six they were, and nine. Just I, see them together. <laughs> I had a good feeling yeah. about those two as well. I mean, I'm really, that breaks me up, you know. Also, yeah, um, another distance. I'm interesting writing down fact. a tweet that I can't just say on air, <laughs> but I want to remember it because it made me snicker to myself. What's so, I so keep, guys, uh, check out what? my Twitter later tonight. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> are you kidding me? What a nerd. That's hilarious. Are you advertising Twitter to me <laughs> in advance? <laughs> Hang on a second. You could definitely read that on air. Go ahead. Read it you on air. You can at least okay, flash well, it to the camera. Earlier you said uh, Benjamin, and I was going to make a Benjamin Button joke about getting smaller. And then I thought to myself, well, Ned, what other word sounds like Button? And then I thought, um, Benjamin Nutton. <laughs> <laughs> if you just make that shorter, the name's just Ben Nutton. 
Nice. He hasn't been anything yeah. at all. But I, I won't tell you what his disease is. because Simpsons gross. did it. That's on my list <laughs> as well. Benjamin disease. So I just remembered another really interesting fact. What? Um, which was that uh, John Cage's seminal musical piece, Four Minutes and 33 Seconds, which originally just it's called actually, 69 yeah. Seconds. It's actually four minutes. But he's like, that's not long enough, actually, but yeah. nice. <laughs> Guys, go ahead. Correct him. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> if you want a little inside baseball. If I yeah. can drop some of that, I know you guys are fond of saying that word, <laughs> yeah, that am, phrase. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I am a oh yeah, yeah. A Magic person. Johnson played baseball. I, I am a per- okay, <laughs> I am a person. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> I am a person who uh, I, you know, I'm, I write books, I, I read books Please, in the literary plugs. field. Hey, once again, I'm an plugs au- at the auteur. End. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. But uh, did you know, um, you know, much like how hotels do not have a thirteenth floor. Books do not have a 69th page in any of them. Any book. Any Wait, but book. do they have a page 68 or 70? Guys, that. Hey. I know what you're going to say. Hey, I've got one for you. I've tried reading your book 69 times. <laughs> <laughs> well, if at first you don't succeed. Uh, guys, no, I quit right at 69. Guys, if you're at home and you have a book near you, first off, congrats. Uh, and second <laughs> off, check that book and call in right now at 713 526 That applies to Kindle versions as well. There's no 69th page. It's it's bad yeah. luck in, in, li- in literature. <laughs> yeah, the FCC so, regulates nice the luck. hell out of that. <laughs> well, also, it's a double... Because it's bad luck and it keeps uh, kids on track and focus on in school because they can't be like make a sixty nine joke. I do know uh, an I immature sixty nine joke I when they're just trying book. to learn science. Uh, there was a book I have seen that has page sixty nine. It was uh, Thomas Pynchon's uh, Oh Inherit Nice. Now you what? So Medford I, will get it. I, James, James will know. Oh, no. That's I got it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Everyone gets man. it. They get it every week at Monday. He they come for it. They're books. ready for it. Yeah. They're like, give it to me. Wow. That bad pun. Mm. <laughs> I'll take it here on air. Yeah, give me that Benjamin Nutton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, guys. It's not that, that kind that of show. That tweet got Nutton, I'll tell you that. All right. I'm sure I'll get some likes. We'll oh, okay. <laughs> I, that's it. I, I just said it's not that kind of show. I mean, I don't really appreciate oh, that you're right. kind of jokes. You're right. You're, you're right. right. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. right. And we 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 strayed far from what's nice about sixty nine. And it's the facts, yeah, baby. Now we're starting to get kind of nasty and mean and and, and biting towards yeah. each other. You know, are we? What'll help soothe? Uh-huh. You know what the balm is? What? Summer of sixty nine by Brian Adams. Summer sixty nine. We talked point. about that. Good point. We um, we thought about playing that if the chorus for sixty nine by Deep Purple wasn't so good. Yeah. Or the A.R. Kane album, 69. We all know A.R. Kane. That's, hey, that's uh, one of the reached, first Dream Pop albums of yeah, all time. Yeah, it reached number one on, on the a, independent. One of Rough Trade's early releases. Yeah, yeah. Uh, number one on the independent UK chart listing. Wow, we all know so much about this yeah, album. So I think we all read the same Wikipedia page. <laughs> and, and super, well, there's only one. I wish there were 69, but... <laughs> Go on, John. Wayne. The super deep cut on that song, uh, Summer of 69, actually. Uh, the, the year 1969 does not exist on this plane of existence anymore it has been uh moved over just to the next uh dimension and and time uh construct so uh that you know that song uh, really is a uh, doesn't apply to us anymore it doesn't exist mm. much like books the year is getting pushed out there you go <laughs> over the course of this show time will be morphing and we won't know it we'll be like huh i thought like what happened maybe they'll be back by the end i don't maybe know maybe there used to be 70 minutes in an hour we wouldn't know and that's terrifying are there 69 mm. now <laughs> i mean guys i want to talk about Laguna 69, a.k.a. Lake 69. Guys, there's a what? lake just called Lake 69. Nice. Oh, I happen- just wanted to tell you guys that. <laughs> what happens there? Uh, A lot of sightseeing. It's it's really beautiful, to be honest. Wow, yeah, those photos are really nice. Yeah. I mean, it's all the same photo. Looks well, boring. Not a lot of people are allowed there. In fact, <laughs> six to nine people a day. Nice people only. Oh, oh it's in Peru. Peru. It's a... Uh, Kind of gorge. It is, yeah. yeah that's beautiful, beautiful water. Huh. Okay. Well, I just wanted to let you guys know about Lake Sixty Nine. Hey, pass what picture. are? Okay, so while we're on the subject of stuff that's nice, we talked about uh, movies, we talked about music, we talked about books. What about food? What's some nice food? Ooh. I think shrimp. I think with shrimp, you Shrimp's can get nice. pretty yeah. close to a 69. Shrimp. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you could eat 69 of? Eggs. Rice. <laughs> no one could eat 69 eggs. <laughs> Rice. <laughs> Rice. 
I bet I, yeah, right. I bet I could eat sixty nine jelly beans. Oh, I could, yeah, easy. Or I could do that in one bite. <laughs> yeah. Have uh, speaking of food, I got an interesting uh, food related one. I, I'm ants. sure. I I'm sure we've all uh, we've all worked in some like some kind of restaurant yeah. industry, oh, type service <laughs> yeah. industry. Wait, I, I missed what? one of James's uh, comments, and I, oh. he's he's belittling us. So I want to make sure we get it out of the way real quick. Thomas Pynchon also wrote the calling of Lot sixty nine. Damn it! That is so good. That's a good one. To which good afterwards one, he did say the joke being that he actually wrote the calling of Lot forty nine, which I know because I went to Rice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So interesting, like back to back to what I was saying. Yeah. Uh, in the restaurant industry, you know how when when you run out of something, they're like eighty six sprouts. Yeah. Uh, eighty six yeah. pepper. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. that was actually originally sixty nine. They would say sixty nine roast beef, sixty nine leafy lettuce, and and, and it was in the year nineteen sixty nine that it was changed. Ah. But the year does not exist anymore, so you know, therefore oh we do gosh. not remember that it was. 69. 69 hot dogs. Here's the 69 thing. 69 fish tacos. Here's the thing. All of them. John Wayne, I remember reading that uh, on the Food Network blog that I follow. Did you it guys start to disappear? Like, well, the thing is, the, the reason it happened is they'd yeah, be like, 69 Brussels sprouts. People were like, nice. And then the manager would go, no, not nice. We <laughs> out of Brussels sprouts. And that's why I had to change it to 86. That's crazy. Dang. Which that's, every time you say 86, you say bad. Bad. You say bad. Bad. <laughs> bad. 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 Uh, to answer the food question, I think I could eat 69 wigs. I truly Wait, do. wait, 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 wait. If I that had sounds like a challenge like, to me, boys. Wait, wait, wait. I could. Hold on. This 60, is actually a segue. Are you Nine. saying? <laughs> uh -oh. Are you uh -oh. saying? Don't get excited. <laughs> I'm actually pretty hungry. I may go grab some wings. You going to grab now some wings? a good time. Uh, go. Yeah, we have to do this segment real quick. Do you want to stick around? Do you want to leave? Is this... You can you can step out if you want okay. to. This you is a, con this is a Connor to. and I thing. Okay. All right, you ready? You ready to yeah, do yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, let's okay. do this. Okay. And sorry, John, why you have to sit through this? Billy, you're lucky. You guys doing a bit? Wait, no, just let it do. Let it do a thing. Oh yeah, I, I it's a new bit. Oh we know no, I no, no. And also, what do you say with heart? Come on, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> A wing a watch 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 we we want some wings. Hey guys, welcome to Wing Watch. That's right. Just down the street from here, they're building a brand new wing restaurant, and we're here to give you the up to date facts. That's right. On wings of Houston is. Coming soon, we oh, hope. Yeah, I heard you Fingers crossed. About my new restaurant. <laughs> oh, wait a second! What? Wait a second! Wait a second! We just had somebody walk into the studio here. Hey there, uh, what's your name? Uh, my name's Paul McCartney. <laughs> what? <laughs> you may know me from the band Wings. Yes, I know you from the band Wings oh. and from the album Paul McCartney Two with Temporary Secretary and, and now, nothing else. And now the restaurant <laughs> Wings of Houston. Ah. Oh. Wow. wow, I like yeah. how you worked that in. It's together. crazy. You used we to used call to it be Wings, wings of wings. England. Yeah, but uh -huh. now we're here. <laughs> wings what are of English England? wings like? Yeah. What, 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 how do you adapt that to to our, our that culture? You know, they're a little more flappy. <laughs> what? <laughs> flappy. Are you talking about Flappy Bird, dude? That app's gone. Is that? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Because British people they use different words. So flappy is that like a spice? Like you say, it's flappy. No, it just means like it takes spicy. some more effort to fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, wait. So, Paul, can I call you Paul? Is that cool? Yeah, mate. <laughs> or sir? Uh, you're a knight, right? You can call me sir if we can kiss. I uh, no and no. <laughs> I would like to call you sir, sir. <laughs> oh, hey, you can kiss John Wayne. That's true. What, do you want to kiss him on air? Yeah, kiss him on air. Let's do it. All right. Get. Mwah. Oh wow! See, wow. Now that's nice. I mean, <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> and, okay, so and sixty nine. For all, <laughs> <laughs> and to all a six night. Uh, Interesting. Fa oh, I'll tell. I'll so, go so, that so one Paul, later. Yeah, actually, no, hey, we're in oh. the middle of wing watch, John Wayne. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not that important, really. Okay, you. Uh, actually, yeah, okay. Right. We'll like, we'll decide that. So, a part of our wing watch, we we mm -hmm. check out your store every week, and we're just kind of mm -hmm. checking from the outside. Yeah. Uh, and today we looked through the gates, mm -hmm. the outside patio, uh, admired the grass that was there. Sure. We saw a pink bucket. Yeah. And next to the pink bucket, Connor was very observant. I just yelled, mm -hmm. pink bucket, write it down. Yep, yep, uh, I wrote Connor, it down. Connor said, there's a bunch of feathers. Mm. Lots like, of feathers. Like a lot of feathers. It looked as if there was a struggle in the backyard of the restaurant. And we want to know, mm -hmm. 
Are y'all frying and killing the wings, the chickens are, right in the backyard? Yeah, are those chicken feathers that are back there? Oh, no. So, see, the thing is, we got these new vegan chickens that are animatronic. And so we actually... Wait, wait, wait. One, the, one second, one second. Huh? What? So, the... the I'm a vegan. I'm a vegetarian. We know. We've seen the episode of Simpsons. We <laughs> we wanted it to be as realistic as possible. Look, it all started wings. I was in a band called Wings. Linda, the other people. And we thought, well, what is what else is wings, birds? People like to eat. Uh, we had a Chuck E. Cheese idea. It's all animatronic versions of the band Wings singing our hits. Uh, Can you name three of those hits real quick? Maybe I'm amazed that you would ask me that. Ooh. But, uh, uh, Jet. Yeah. Yeah. And this was, this never got released. It was a demo, Jet 2, okay? How did that one go? I love Jet. It's okay, one of my so favorite that's two. Song. You just told Jet. me. Jet 2. <laughs> <laughs> that was leaked. I heard, oh, I heard that on the, the internet. That old in my age is the voice, an Australian, I guess. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but there's that, the, the animatronic chickens, mate. Oh, okay. That's awesome. So how did feathers fall out? I'm sorry. Yeah. you got to pluck them. I mean, they're as close to the real thing as you can get, wait, wait, but they wait, don't wait, have wait. feelings. So instead of, there's no AI involved. Instead of meat, you're eating machine? No, well, there's a, there's an exoskeleton to hold the feathers, and then inside is the soy meat, and you crack open the metal <laughs> skull. It's, i got to say, it's very visceral. Are they made of an erector set? I don't understand. Like, they're just metal? <laughs> like, whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. Hey. <laughs> is that what they're called? I'm sorry. No, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's not practical, but you can charge a lot more for the vegan stuff. It's a, it's a, it's a spectacle. Ah. It's an animatronic wings experience, and the food's partly animatronic as oh well. Oh my God, a beetle grandstanding? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this. What now? Oh, he's just saying that he's only vegan for the money. So I want to take two yeah. steps back. Are you So it's... You said animatronic band. Is the band playing and then we eat the band when we go to the restaurant? Or is there electronic vegan chickens there? Is there an, uh, an animatronic band? Or you're just saying it's like an animatronic band in the sense that it's animatronic? Well, no, no. I mean, we definitely will have an animatronic band. I mean, that's just uh, part and parcel for the deal. Can we play in the band? Yeah, can we be in it? Uh, if you're willing to have like servos and metal put into your body, it's Hell a very yeah. tight choreography. Routine. I got bad knees. I can replace them with servos. Well, there you... I live to servo. <laughs> <laughs> you can be in the band as long as you can put up with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not. All right. Yeah, I get it. I am 69 years old. Whoa! <laughs> Guys, that's been Wing Watch. <laughs> thank you so much for the thing. I gotta go, but thank you. Come check out Wings of Houston. Thank you, Paul. We're definitely gonna come by. Hit the end of that theme, baby. Oh, hey! like the wings. <laughs> All right, that's our uh, segment that we're still trying to work out the kink. Yeah, they're animatronic chickens. Billy, holy, sh Billy, Billy, they're uh. That guy from Wings was just here. We kissed. Yeah, that old British dude. That we guy's kissed. a jerk. The, no, that's the. Dude, I saw him leave. That's the dude who wrote Temporary Secretary. You know what? He's gonna he's have a night. temporary restaurant on his hands if he's running it the way he talked Whoa. to me. Whoa. And if he's opening it in the space they're opening it in. <laughs> uh, hang on a second, man. <laughs> Don't say that. We wrote an email to those guys because we really, really want to talk. To he had them. some very idea. unkind things to say about artificial intelligence and how <laughs> cruelty against it was impossible. He got he's hey. looking his lips real weird. Hang on a second. I see Cody's commenting a lot. Uh, what's he? What do you? What does he have to say? Cody said, "Ha ha 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 ha." Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. And then after that, he said, hey, wait a Fair minute. Uh -huh. nice. And he nice. says, this nice. guy rules. Hey, we nice. part of the conversation, nice. man. Hey. All right. Uh, hey, that was These are the watch. comments I don't read out loud. <laughs> 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 if you were curious. Oh, I thought you read all of them out loud. <laughs> no. <That's good. laughs> oh, okay. All right. Do you think I need to read James Medford saying, I went to Rice 49? Wait. More are coming in 69 times an episode. Wow. <laughs> Uh, guys, is it time to to reveal the? Oh yes, you have talked facts. about. You have more uh, facts. Yeah. No, I mean. Okay. Well, uh, uh, before I guess I'll go ahead and break the ice. Before the show, we discussed that uh, there would be a special prize awarded to the 69th caller. 
Oh uh, yes, to the show yeah. tonight. And so we've had uh, one so far. We, wait, oh, hey, one, two, yeah, more than sixty-nine, one. Yeah. two. Yeah. So hey, guys, sixty-seven more, and you get a special prize. And, and, and there's if, only thirteen more minutes, right? Or uh, nine I mean, more we minutes. We kind of wrap up around uh, the fifty. I, I've also oh. been told that if we get six to nine callers, we can stay on the air. <laughs> Hey, oh, so never please call uh, it looks like that switchboard's call. lighting up. <laughs> no, wait. Oh, it is? No, you just hit, is that a reset button or what's going on? Oh, I don't, I, it, some, you look. That's a malfunction is what that is. Yeah, sometimes Is that happens. plugged in? It is To anything? In. That's it, for show. It's plugged in. That's for show. Said, Jamie, hey. just, Jamie just commented in saying that your mom reads all the comments, which is very ironic. Because she my, does. Because my mom did just sign on to the show. So Yay! I hope she does read all the comments. Also, and thank you so much, Mom, for tuning in. Hello, hey, Mrs. Gale. Cody, did, why don't you go ahead and give us a call? Go in, Speaking Edward. of nice, Ned's mom. Very she's nice. Woman. She's very nice. She's very nice lady. I actually yeah. had breakfast with Ned's Whoa, parents. Okay, let's take it down. Oh yeah, that was a. That what was, did we go to Natasha's? We went to Natasha's. Yes, we did. Man, my spot. <laughs> it's good if you want lukewarm food. <laughs> so Ned, what do you feel uh, about uh, Billy? Like Billy being time. replacement you for the family. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of cool with that, I guess. I, I told know. him he could sleep in the bed with me. <laughs> I yeah, said when you not... come back, it doesn't have to like it is a weight room, but I sleep on the floor. We could form the shape uh, if we just stand close together. We could form the shape of a uh, uh, some sort of abstract crab. Can you do uh, a handstand? <laughs> you could roll down a hill. What some sort of standing cartwheel? Sixty nine. I, <laughs> I just, I just imagine your parents after having Billy as replacing you for a few weeks is just like, well, Billy's great and all, but. I don't remember Ned doing as many Paul McCartney impressions. <laughs> My hang mom. on, hang on, we got a call. Hey, oh, you're oh. on FM Rager. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Turn down your radio in the background. Hey, are you there? Hello? Hello? Ah, wow. Well, well, we lost uh, another one. That one that doesn't count? All right. My mom did just comment in. Just got home. Had to check on you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's mom, I'm sweet. doing all if right. If he's on the radio, just he's safe. Sweaty. <laughs> it, it, it's hot in it's this hot even. It can't be from all this hot it's air we're gotta be. It's got to be. You know, Keep it hot. Keep you on edge. Yeah, I mean, we came into the show pretty hot. Well, so, hot. Sir McCartney came in with such a hot presence. It's hot. He's hot-tempered. He, he is. He is a hot. Haven't you heard him on that temporary secretary song? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you this. He's a hot kisser. Ooh, that's, sure. that's right. Hot lips, you, Mr. You, you know he actually sang the intro to Temporary Secretary? <laughs> that's his voice. That is an a cappella song. Yeah. <laughs> he actually wrote his phone number down before me here before yes, he left. Yes, it's 69. 69. <laughs> you see it? You see it? I do. <laughs> that's just ridiculous John Wayne Billy. Yeah, it, we used to work together can you tell me how things are going at the factory <laughs> on air are you willing to talk about that I cannot read that small on this paper we'll have to that's an off air conversation I, uh, allegedly I, I don't know what you're talking about working where what do you where we worked what what are you asking all these questions for you writing a book What's the questions? Yeah, uh, I'm keep doing that, John Wayne. We have to sit through a very long endless shrimp ad before we can get to whatever. <laughs> oh, 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 I see. I was going to close the podcast out on a very nice. We got to do plugs. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm getting it ready. You're watching I'm shrimp the, ads. It's, I paused it. Shrimp. I'm getting it ready. <laughs> All right, hang on. Uh, but, but just hey, so seriously know. though, can we watch more shrimp ads? Hey, but so you guys know, Endless Shrimp is back. <laughs> yeah, that is not a plug for a limited time. And somehow Actually, Google, yeah, hey, I'm going to save that for my plug. Uh, pretend you didn't hear that. Endless Shrimp is not back yet. It's All right. very gone. Does anyone have anything they'd like to say before we move into our final segment of the show? Shrimp are just, still shaped like 69. And I would just like to say, nice, nice, <laughs> John Wayne. Uh, just one more fact in the in the uh, in the movie Terminator Two. T two Judgment Day. Day. Yeah, Edward Day. Furlong's voice cracks <laughs> sixty nine <laughs> times. Oh man, I feel like I've laughed sixty nine times. Can I say all these. that when nice. D- when DVDs came out, it was at uh, my sister's friend's house, uh, and he showed us the DVD of Judgment Day, and he was really excited nice. to show us that you could have separate language tracks, and he's just like, check it out. He just said, holy cow, it's Spanish. <laughs> and I remember as a kid being like, whoa. <laughs> How, you, what did he say? I don't remember. Exciting. <laughs> yeah. That was like six to nine years ago. All right. Hey, uh, look, we're going into our last segment, but if you want to call in and say, holy cow, in Spanish, you don't have long. All right. Here's our final segment.
I want a new plug. Tell us what's going on. Tell us all the stuff you're doing after I sing this song. All right. Billy, let's start with you. What do you have to plug, friend? Uh, I'm moving back into the loop next month. Ooh. Um, so I'll try, I'll try to get more my feet on the ground to plug things. But uh, moving in on September 21st, if anyone wants to drink at Ladybirds, <laughs> you know. I do. Let me know. Yeah, Ned's invited. Connor's invited. John Wayne is invited. 69 Thank is you. invited. Nice. <laughs> um, All right. Anything else? Any uh, social media you want to plug or anything? Yeah, you, I never update it, but I'm <laughs> Billy Ray Trim on Instagram. <laughs> he has really 69 followers. <laughs> 69 <laughs> followers. Yeah, yeah, I have 69 followers, 69 pictures of mm-hmm. 69 beautiful things. Um, on face, my name is Billy Trim. I don't think there are that many. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am Billy yeah. Trim. There are many like me, but I am mine. <laughs> I can almost guarantee you that everyone except for Ned's mom, I'm already friends with. So, you know, I'm just shouting at the ocean. At Ned's point. mom, let's get on it, all right? Yeah. My let's Aaron hit Aaron that friend request. <laughs> all right, John Wayne, what do you have to plug? Um, well, uh, I just had a new novella come out from Death's Head Press called Sinkhole. Uh, please check that out. It's it's not funny. It's very serious. No. Can you give us a quick uh, premise? Uh, a little, yeah, little Vader pitch. Back back when uh, when Hurricane Harvey hit, I had a sinkhole in my backyard after like all the water went away, and I was like, "What's the sinkhole about?" So uh, my friend Nick P, a friend of mine, out of the show, and I just would make jokes about it every day, and then I took one of the jokes and expanded it out into this novella uh, horror story where. Uh, 52 years ago, a hurricane hit. There was a bus of school children whisked away in, a, in the tornadoes that spawned. And then when another hurricane hits 52 years later, the sinkhole opens up in this guy's backyard, and the kids climb out to eat for the first time in 52 <laughs> oh, years. No. Oh, no. How many kids were on that bus? Uh, yeah, got to read the book, dude. <laughs> nice. I think I have a guess. <laughs> yeah, I would guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that, that just came out in July, and uh, it's, it's been doing pretty well. I also have uh, uh, a longer book uh, released recently called As Seen on TV from Grindhouse Press. Check that out. Everything I have is on Amazon and Kindle. Also, if you go to johnwayneisdead.com to the store page, you can buy any of my books from me, and I will sign them and send you extra stuff. Uh, I also do a podcast every week called John Wayne Lied to You on the Mockingbird Network, and it comes out every Monday. I have 111 episodes. Check it out for my crazy life. And this weekend, I will be at KillerCon in Austin, tabling with Christopher Triana and Michael Allen Rose. So if you are at KillerCon, come have a beer with us and get some books. Sick. All right. Any so- uh, social media? Oh, check that? me out at John <laughs> Wayne is Dead on Instagram and Twitter, or just my name on the Facebook, John Wayne Communale. Sick, sick, sick. <laughs> All right, Ned, what do you got? Uh, my name is Ned. <laughs> uh, every Thursday, except for this Thursday, I'm at Secret Group doing Futile Society Improv at 8 p.m. Only $5. See some fantastic comedy, but not this Thursday once again. Uh, swimwear department is on another month break. You guys missed it. You weren't there Sunday. You, you screw it up, unless you're going to be at Mark Austin's wedding, which if you are... Up, nice. Up. <laughs> um, and then, but Summer Department will be putting out some new music pretty soon. So go ahead and follow them on social media. I don't think I have any other shows coming up in the pipeline, uh, but I think you should plug one show. Yeah, but look. follow me at Net of the Dead. <laughs> uh, hey, you now have the floor. It's coming back on August thirty first. It's going to be another hilarious trip to the city of Hosewater, Texas. You can follow everything at. Hosewater, uh, city of Hosewater. What's going on? I forgot. I forgot to plug that Inless Shrimp is back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we just had to. I had to make sure that that was. I had to make sure. It's important. I, I didn't mean to interrupt your plug that I'm also involved in, but I Inless Shrimp is back. <laughs> anyway, start over. Start over. Can you put the music back? Start on? the whole. <laughs> let's start the whole show yeah, over. Let's do it one more time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No, I'm not. Look, <laughs> if you listened to the show last week and you'll listen to it next week, Seeker Group, 8 p.m. August 31st, five bucks. Come out and see You Now Have the Floor. It's another trip to uh, Hosewater, Texas. Maybe that's- get some endless shrimp beforehand. <laughs> and there are 69 guests on the show. <laughs> All right, that's our show. Thank you very uh, very much for coming on, Billy Tram and John Wayne Caminale, and Sir Paul McCartney for making a guest yeah, appearance. Yeah, cool move. August yeah, thirty. having us. August 31st, I will be at Days of the Dead in Louisville, Kentucky. All right. We all um, are going to have to fight over So over. at the Crown August Plaza, Louisville Airport. So I'm I will see you guys. Red if you happen to, to be there, let's get in. Endless shrimp together. Endless shrimp. Otherwise, go to you ha- now have the floor. That's All your right. two options for that day. Thank you. This is for you, Paul. 